many, many miles away from here, in a country called Ghana, a little girl called Emily is helping her mother and father on the cocoa farm. Mama, why can't I go to school today and tomorrow and see my friends? That's just the way it is, Emily. We're sorry. I heard the village headman saying there's a meeting this week about our cocoa farms and a way that things might get better. I think I will go along and see what it's all about. At the end of the week, village men gathered under the shade of a large mango tree to discuss work on the cocoa farms. Thank you for coming to the meeting. I'd like to tell you about a new way of working which might help us all. At the moment, we do not know how much money we will earn each week. We cannot plan for the future. Things have to change. I have heard of something called the cooperative and an organisation called Fair Trade. Village Headman, what do these things have to do with us? Well, if we work together instead of by ourselves, we can form a team called a cooperative and this will give us more power. We can decide on a fair price for our cocoa and Fair Trade will make sure we always receive this. Fair Trade will also give us a premium, which is some extra money to spend on our homes, health and clean water and education. Hooray! Emily, darling, I have some news. Please let it be good news, Dad. It is quite wonderful news. We're going to start working together with other cocoa farmers so that we can establish a fair and equal price for our cocoa beans as a group. This will change everything for the better. This will change our life. The farmers work on their farms and join all of their cocoa bean produce together. The beans are scooped from the pods, laid in the sun to dry and then weighed into large sacks. The beans are collected from the village and driven to a port. They are placed on large cargo ferries and shipped to England. They are driven to a factory where they are mixed with sugar and milk and made into chocolate bars. The bars are distributed to different shops of, for people to buy. Grandma, please can we buy some chocolate as a treat? All right, but it will be our little secret. Okay, now which one could we choose? Caramel, orange, mint, dark chocolate, white chocolate? I think we should choose this one, Grandma. We have been learning about the symbol in school. If we buy this one, we will be helping farmers far away make sure that they get a fair price for the cocoa beans that are in the chocolate. That sounds like the right decision, Jack. It will taste even better knowing that we are helping someone else. Come on, let's go. Jack and his grandma enjoy sharing their chocolate bar. They unwrap the bar and break it into two to share, smiling. Hundreds of miles south in Ghana, Emily is playing games with her friends in the schoolyard. 